Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Abby and I live in Japan. Ever since I ended my teaching contract three months ago or so, I've definitely had a lot more time to be able to explore this beautiful country. But after a while of eating into my savings and depending on stimulus checks to survive, I started thinking to myself, how hard is it to actually find a job in Japan? How hard is it to get a part-time job in Japan with such little qualifications? I'm saying that I have very minimal qualifications at the moment. <laughs> My qualifications consist of I can speak and understand Japanese at a very low level, but it's enough to get around, I think. I can edit videos. I have 10 months experience teaching English and providing childcare at an accredited school here in Japan. And I have two years university experience. I was pursuing my bachelor's in business administration, but that is incomplete. Yes, I'm a college dropout. And I used to think that not having a university degree would stunt me in finding a job in Japan, but I was able to work, so I'm living proof that it is possible. There are definitely places here that will hire you if you do not have a degree. You just gotta put in a little bit of extra work to find them, I believe. Which is what we are going to do in today's video. But before we jump into that, please do me a favor and hit your subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this, or if you find these videos helpful, Helpful, I would love to bring more of them to my channel. First listing I found was on Craigslist. I don't know if this is true, but I feel like not many people consider Craigslist. I remember Craigslist because I've used it before to like sell stuff. This job listing was a part-time English conversation instructor at Premium Cafe Eikaiwa. And an Eikaiwa is pretty much a school that's made to support the public school district strictly in helping students to improve their English conversation and grammar skills you can put in all the information to kind of narrow down the search like your location zip code preferred city to work in they'll take all that so that it can narrow it down to where you want to work so that's what i did but i'm not going to show you my location so yes this one was titled part-time job english conversation instructor 1250 yen per hour english conversation partner in kobe please check and apply from the url and do not send us by email i clicked on their url and it sent me to all the information for their listing. And then when I click on this little link right here, it takes me to their website. So they actually have a legitimate website. I know that this whole page is in Japanese, but if you have like a desktop or a laptop computer, Google usually offers a page translation. You can do that and you're able to read it. Let's go back to the other page where they had the job details and there's another link at the bottom and it takes me to a, a Google Docs form that they set up themselves. So that's actually very nice because it's all here. You just have to fill out pretty much all of the basic details. They have an area if you have any kind of certifications like TESOL or TOEFL. So basically like an English T certification but it's not required because it doesn't have like a red asterisk next to it if you want to put your resume and a recent photo and then you pretty much just press submit so when I press submit it took me to a page saying thank you so much for applying to this and then following up to that they sent me an email thanks for filling out English instructor for premium cafe a kaiwa they show all the information that I gave them just confirming that they have received it for this one I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to get back to me hopefully not too long but now I have something to look forward to from them let's move on to another listing that I found the second listing that I found on Craigslist was this one that's a little bit closer to home English teacher needed near Kobe the description here English savvy a small Eikaiwa school looking for someone who can teach two to five classes a month sometimes listings will say that but I don't believe it two to five classes a month I don't think so. Just given based off of my last teaching job, they start to not really hold up to that promise. And I know more hours are good, but it's just the fact that they like expect more as time passes. Like, oh, stay longer, work more days, like different stuff like that. So I'm, I don't believe that for a second. I'm just looking at this listing because it's closer to home. It's not too far. So transportation, it'll be fairly cheaper. But sometimes, as you can see down here, they offer for a transportation fee. My old English teaching job, they offered me a transportation fee, meaning that they will give me an extra allowance included in my monthly pay 
to pay for the train rides to and from work because those those trips on the train be adding up over time and this one offers 1500 yen an hour so yeah with this one it said message for questions at the following email so yeah i took this email and i plugged it into my gmail and this is the gmail that i sent hello my name is abijan i found your listing for an english teacher in kobe i attached my resume to this email i hope you're able to view it i have lived in japan for a year and i'm interested in your listing and then they, they said they were open to questions so i just put these three questions what are the hours for this position are teaching materials provided because at the moment i don't have my own teaching materials so i would like to know in advance and how are you managing covid with the students i just wanted to ask that just to see how he's this person is dealing with it in their institution. I just sent this email to them. It's not a formal application or anything like that, just an inquiry. Sometimes that's just how it's gotta start. And that's what I did for this one. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. The last job opportunity that I found, it was actually not a Craigslist listing, it was an app. It's an app called Flamingo that I heard from watching videos on YouTube. I came across this one from another YouTuber. It's an app for English teachers and also people looking for English teachers that teach them English. <laughs> so in this, I already made an account and I already registered. So let's go into the app and I'm gonna show you what's in there. Okay, so yeah, this is what it looks like. So at the top you see like some recommendations and they have their own rates posted. So you have notifications, lessons. So I believe those lessons part is for the student and then settings. So here I've already set up my account and this is kind of what it looked like. So let's go down as register as a teacher and it shows this cute little page right here of everything you could do, start registration. Yeah, and so pretty much they have it set up in a way where it helps you build a nice clean profile for your potential future students to view. So they ask for my name, nationality the language my preferred area this one is mainly targeted on teaching within cafes so it has a built-in mapping system where you can choose your favorite cafe where you want to meet or you can choose a cafe between you and your student to meet up at and have your classes there but yeah I believe that this app is for a teaching structure of casual conversation mainly you can set your own rate for the first lesson you can set your fee for every hour lesson that you teach so for mine the fee for the first lesson I said is 500 yen I thought that 500 yen was pretty reasonable just because of the transportation to come out there it could at least reimburse me for coming out there a fee for the hour lesson so I believe that this this would be the second lesson that's to the same person. I set it as 2,000 yen. Ah, yes, this app needed my residency card. So I had to take a photo front and back of my residency card and submit it to them. So I can show you a picture of a residency card right here. This is what it looks like. And if you're worried about a residency card, if you come to Japan with intent to staying for like three plus years, like me and my husband, you will get a residency card upon entering the country. When you get off the plane, you collect your luggage, and then you go through this whole maze, and then there's like an area where all these people are set up. Pretty much they ask you, okay, why are you here? What are you here for? Are you working? Are you doing this? Are you on vacation or whatever? You explain it to them, hand them your documents, and they issue you a residency card. It's called a zairu, zairu. Mm, that's what your residency card is called, Zairu. And then once my residency card pictures were uploaded and everything looked good to me and was submitted, then my profile looked like this. Like, I can't see the full word, but I think it says like under examination or something like that. And then I went to the notifications and they sent me this message. Hi, Abby Bright. Thank you so much for registering as a teacher. We will check your work certificate within 24 hours. If we could not check the work permit on the certificate, we will re reject your request at the time please resend them to us please wait for notification of acceptance from us so basically i took that as within the next 24 hours we'll get back to you and let you know if you could work with us or not that's something else to look forward to so at least i have like a time frame for that one within the next 24 hours so i should hear something back around this time tomorrow hopefully and then i can at least get another video up about flamingo it might not be as long as this one but i'll have a video up reflecting on what happened with flamingo whether it's good or bad I'll 
I'll still let you know. So I will be awaiting responses from all the listings that I submitted today. I really want to be able to let you know how the follow-ups go, so you should hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so the next time we see each other, I can update you on what happened and keep you in the loop. And with that, I hope to see you next time. Bye!